Good morning. For the record, today is November 18th, 2020. The time is 10 a.m. This is a meeting of the Public Service Commission of the District of Columbia being held via conference call. I'm Willie L. Phillips, Chairman of the Public Service Commission. Also participating via conference call is Commissioner Richard Beverly. Pursuant to the Open Meeting Act of 2010, the Commission scheduled this meeting to consider formal case matters that require Commission action. The proposed agenda for this meeting was posted on Monday, November 16, 2020. A recording of today's open meeting will be available on the Commission's website after the meeting concludes. Commissioner Beverly, are you prepared to vote and adopt the agenda? Yes. All in favor of adopting the agenda, please indicate by stating yes. Yes. And I vote yes, the agenda is adopted. Today, there are three action items before the commission. The matters are, number one, formal case number 988 in the matter of the development of universal service standards and the universal service trust fund for the District of Columbia. This order grants Verizon Washington DC Phoenix request for DC universal service trust fund funding application for the third quarter of 2020. Number two, formal case number 1142 in the matter of the merger of Altagas and WGL Holdings and formal case number 1167 in the matter of the implementation of the climate business plan. This order, among other things, opens a new case, formal case number 1167, to consider whether and to what extent utility and energy companies under the commission's purview are meeting and advancing the District of Columbia to achieve its energy and climate goals. Number three, formal case number 1148, in the matter of the investigation into establishment of energy efficiency and energy conservation programs targeted towards both affordable multifamily units and master metered multifamily buildings, which include low and limited income residents in the District of Columbia. This order, among other things, accepts and approves the Energy Efficiency and Energy Conservation Task Force's recommendation to select the Inter International Center for Appropriate and Sustainable Technology as the program implementer for the deep retrofit program in the district. All in favor of approving the recommended orders, please indicate by stating yes. Yes. Yeah. And I vote yes, the orders are approved. The commission by public notice dated November 17, 2020, suspended the formal case number 1162 virtual evidentiary hearing regarding WGL's rate application that was scheduled to begin today. The next regular open meeting will be held on December, December 2nd, 2020 at 2 p.m. via conference call. The proposed agenda for the meeting will be posted at least 48 hours before the announced meeting. There being nothing further, the commission now stands adjourned.